Hi, I'm going to show you how to take a, a school symbol or a, a BHS, which is our, our high school around here, it's Bemidji High School, and I'm going to tell, show you how to stone this. And I'm probably going to have to do this in two parts um, because it's going to be a pretty large instruction thing to do. The reason I would do what I'm doing is because if I was going to screen print on the back of it or put foil around it and then you know put stones around it or something, I want to border sometimes around the outside of it. But I also want to make my templates for my stones. And so let's go ahead and get our stone set. I have this image at about 3 inches high by about 8 inches wide. And I'm going to use a 10 um, SS stone a three millimeter so I'm gonna go ahead and go up my three slots which is at 13 and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a fill I want to erase my original so this is the erase part Terry that I was talking about before to get rid of the lines in the background and back make sure that's checked when you want to see this part disappear so hit apply and all your stones show up there really really good um, and at this point I want to leave everything ungrouped where I'm at and I'm gonna come over to my toolbar up here on the top and there's a rope th up here on the top I want to grab that and that's called a lasso tool and I wanna what I want to do is I want to come around and I want to engulf um, a lot of my stones here because I want this to be an outline of a different size or a different color and um, by just coming around and drawing a line around it and circling those lines you can come over to the toolbar over here and you can change all of those colors on the outline so it's a different color. I'm going to make this a little bit larger here so it's a little easier to do and really I, I enlarge my stuff like crazy the whole time I'm working with stuff to make stuff easier. So I go ahead and just keep working around the outside edges here and those stones are a little too close we'll separate those out later but um, you can just kind of see what I'm doing and you kind of get the idea of, of how I'm doing it and I'm just making that whole outside um, this whole outside edge here um, whoops and um, by doing that I'm just coming through and making sure that I have everything circled up and through here and when I do that it makes a circle around it and engulfs everything. I kinda got out of control there but that's okay it still works out just fine. So for a matter of time I'm not gonna go into my other stones and show you how to how to do that but this is going to be one template that's gonna be cut out in your software and the dark blue is going to be a second template and when we go to cut you're gonna be able to choose up here under the under the cutter you're gonna when you choose the cutter file um, if you look at all the colors that you have up there you're gonna be able to choose by color when we're ready to cut they'll be sitting up there so you can choose the outline or the inline by color um, at that time so let's get back to this over here and you know now what we want to do is we want to marquee the whole thing and now we want to group everything together and by grouping everything together we're going to be able to make our outline for my screen print or whatever product I'm going to use this on you know you could put foil around the outside you could do so many different things so there's so many purposes of using the outline feature so again I have a group now and I've marqueed it go to my toolbar and come down on my toolbar and hit the outline and I have my outline transformation box that shows up in the right hand corner I like to use a 0.05 thickness when I'm doing an outline but you can make it bigger if you want to and I only want one pass I want outline marked and I've got red selected as my color but you can come in this box and you can change this color any color that you want it to be let's go with the green I like that matches my snowmobile and so let's just hit um, our check mark right there and what it will do is it'll start going ahead and working its way around the outside of the our um, our design here and getting our our uh, outline going good for us and so why that works, oh, there we go, we're ready. I'm going to get rid of my box right there. And you can see here is our outline. And like I said, this can be used for so many different applications of just putting an outline around something. If your outline, if this wasn't stone and you were just doing letters and doing an outline, you could layer the outlines for signs and all kinds of stuff. But because we have a curved letter, that's why we get our curved scalloped edges here. Now I want to show you another thing and by doing this right now you don't see the holes are going to be cut out but you can leave those holes in there too if you want but I don't like this stuff right in through here that shows me that there's going to be a cutter mark in there.